Hi, I'm Marilyn Klein, President and Owner of Fiberglass Developments. Hi, I'm Scott Campbell, Sales and Operations Manager at Fiberglass Developments. This video is the second part of a two-part series in which we lead the fabrication team for the University of Akron in building a super mileage race car. Although we typically are not fabricators, I had agreed to provide a fabrication leader to the University of Akron in exchange for being able to videotape the entire process of building the car. The Premix Corporation, Goodyear, and Fiberglass Developments all participated in financial support of the car and are proud to have been part of this unique educational project. I agreed at the request of the College of Polymer Engineering to work with the College of Mechanical Engineering to supply a fabrication team leader to assist the students in building an all-composite racer shell. This car would participate in the SAE Super Mileage Competition. The essence of this race is attaining fuel mileage in excess of 1,000 miles per gallon. I was the fabrication leader and worked with the students and faculty through the process of designing and building their composite car. I was excited to share technologies from the aerospace and racing industries with the students and I'm glad to show you how these technologies can be duplicated in a home shop at a reasonable cost. What was in my mind's eye through the entire process was of course the finished car which you see here. We began the design envisioning the overall shape of the vehicle. We envisioned the shape as simply a shell without supporting systems. We knew that the shell we were constructing would be modified to accommodate these systems when it was complete. These systems were anticipated in the design of the plug. The shape of the vehicle was the shape of the plug. We built female molds from the plug and are ready to construct the finished shells in this video. The entire process of building the car took several months. The complete project is edited into two videos. This is the second video of the two-part series. The first video demonstrated construction of the plug and the advanced mold making techniques required to build the large polyester molds. We begin here with the molds which were built in the first video and are ready to begin fabrication of the shell demonstrating a graphite honeycomb sandwich and vacuum bagging techniques. Throughout these two videos we are following the same steps as outlined in our molding fiberglass video. We have completed steps one through four in the sister video and are beginning here with step five which is to prepare the mold for fabrication of the part. Sandwich core construction and vacuum bagging are both techniques used to maximize the physical properties of advanced composite materials. Sandwich core construction permits a part to be made much stiffer with little weight penalty by laminating a core between layers of reinforcement. Okay. By facing both sides of a low density material such as honeycomb or foam with layers of high strength materials such as fiberglass or carbon fiber, you make a structural sandwich where the skin materials carry the tensile and compressive loads while the core provides support and separation. The main requirement is the use of a resin or adhesive system which is strong enough to bond all these layers together and will resist inner laminar peel. If the skin facings are permitted to slide on the core, all mechanical advantage is lost. Vacuum bagging is a process which pressurizes the laminate during cure, compressing fiber bundles and optimizing the resin content. Until recently, this technology was out of reach of most home builders. Now, however, all the materials necessary are readily available and only the knowledge of how to use them is needed before making amazingly strong structures. You can watch over our shoulders as we use this technology to produce the super fuel mileage racer. Because we use both sandwich core construction and vacuum bagging to build this shell, we will be performing both techniques in a single lamination. However, you can build a sandwich core laminate without vacuum bagging. You could also vacuum bag a part which was made without a sandwich core. The first step in advanced laminating is to develop the lamination schedule. The lamination schedule consists of the number and orientation of the plies of reinforcement, as well as the type of sandwich material that is to be placed into the mold. This schedule should have been developed during the design phase of the project, but it must be laid out now on paper and will begin the formal plan of the lamination. The schedule will be unique for each part and is determined by the expected operating conditions for the part. These conditions would include how strong it must be, how much it should weigh, and how much load it should bear. In the case of the supermileage vehicle, 
The top shell only needed to be strong enough to support its own weight and shape. However, the bottom shell was the structural unit of the entire vehicle and needed enough strength and rigidity over its length to support a number of secondary structures, including the engine as well as the driver. Both the bottom and the top needed to be extremely lightweight, and we wanted the shell to require no frame. The schedule for the top shell consisted of three plies of carbon fiber and epoxy resin with honeycomb sandwich core strips added as selective stiffeners. The first ply of carbon fiber will be placed into the mold with its warp fibers running along the longitudinal axis of the vehicle. This orientation will be referred to as a zero degree ply. The second ply was cut on the bias with its warp fibers running at 45 degrees to the longitudinal axis of the car. The third ply was another zero degree ply. Strips of Nomex honeycomb were placed between the second and third plies of the carbon fiber. The lamination schedule for the bottom shell consisted of seven plies of carbon fiber and epoxy resin with a honeycomb sandwich between the fourth and fifth layers of carbon. Because we did not want the honeycomb cells to fill with resin, we decided to laminate and vacuum bag the bottom shell in two portions. The outer skin of the shell will consist of four plies of carbon fiber. The first ply had its warp fibers at zero degrees to the longitudinal axis of the vehicle. The second and third plies were oriented at 45 degrees from the axis, meaning that the fabric would be cut on the bias. The fourth and final ply was another zero degree oriented layer. The inner skin of the sandwich would only be three layers thick. Ply orientation was zero, 45, and zero degrees with respect to the longitudinal axis. When we laid up the shells, we knew we needed to create the vacuum before the parts were completely cured, and that this would require us to move quickly. If you are going to vacuum bag, you must also document your vacuum bagging schedule. The top shell would be constructed in one pass and then vacuum bagged when the lamination was complete. However, we planned on bagging the bottom shell in two portions. The first portion would be the outer skin of the shell and would consist of the first through fourth layers of carbon. This would be bagged and cured before continuing. After the cure was complete, we would remove the vacuum bagging materials and continue with the second part of the lamination. 